In high school, my best friend's name was Alice. We were totally inseparable. We did everything together. My mom used to say we were joined at the hip. On the weekends, we had sleepovers on both Friday and Saturday night. Every weekend. And sometimes we would go on little adventures. She was a year older, so she already had friends who were in college in the Boston area. Alice was a senior at the time and had been texting this college boy. And on one Friday night in January, he told Alice to meet him at his frat. So Alice and I decide to go. Not gonna say which college or frat it was. And we show up and I was expecting a classic frat situation. Red solo cups, pong, a guy pissing in the corner, another girl throwing up in the corner, kind of a classic situation. But what we arrived to didn't seem like a frat at all. It was really weird. First of all, when the guy opened the door, it was pitch black, except there was writing on the walls that was neon green and glowing. And most of it was random words, except there were two creepy phrases that caught my attention. Turn around and are you really here? So I look at Alice and I'm like, Alice, I do not think we should be here. But she really wanted to see this guy she was texting. So she was like, come on, let's just go in. So I have a bad feeling about this place, but Alice really wants to keep going. She said the guy texted her and told her he's further back in the frat. And it feels like we're the only girls there. I haven't seen a single other woman and all the men are really disgusting. They're all sweating, but it wasn't even that hot inside. They looked totally out of it and they're staring at us as we walk by and it felt really predatorial. Finally, Alice sees the guy she's looking for and he's absolutely passed out on the couch. Also super sweaty and disgusting. It's also only like 11 p.m. at this point. No one should be that trashed at 11, even in a frat. She goes up and tries to say hi to him and he can't even figure out who she is. So I grab Alice's arm and I'm like, Alice, we should leave. He's not okay. Everyone else seems like they're on intense drugs and it just does not feel safe here. And I thought when we left that frat, we were leaving the creepiest part of the night and that the rest of the night would be peaceful and chill. But when we got on the train to go home, that's when things got really dark. So Alice and I leave the weird party and she's really bummed because she had a big crush on the guy who invited us and it was obviously really disappointing to see him shit-faced on the couch, barely coherent. But we get on the T, which is what we call the train in Boston. And it's really late at this point, so at first I think we're the only people in the train car. But then I see this old man sitting a few seats down on the other side of the train. But he doesn't acknowledge us, we don't acknowledge him. And then a couple stops later, this big guy walks onto the train. And at first I think he's holding a big bag over his shoulder, but then I glance again and I realize it's a person. He's holding a woman over his shoulder and she's asleep. The next stop, the old man gets up, but he doesn't get off the train. He just changes seats. He moves to a seat so that he's sitting right across from me and Alice. And he starts making weird grunting noises and tapping his feet. Alice and I try to ignore it. We think he might be crazy, but he keeps doing it. And I finally make eye contact with him. And when I do, he mouths, get off the train. So this man is trying to subtly tell us to get off the train. And Alice looks up and she sees it too. And then the old man does this. He looks at us and then he glances at the big guy carrying the woman. And then he looks back at us and he goes, get off the train. So I whisper in Alice's ear, let's just get off the train. If he does follow us and try to attack us, I feel like we can take him. He's just an old man. I also had a Swiss army knife in my pocket because always be ready, ladies. So we get off the train at the next stop and our plan is just to Uber home from that stop. And the old man follows us off the train. The other guy with the woman over his shoulder stays on the train. And this old man is hobbling. Like if we ran, he definitely couldn't catch us. And I'm annoyed. So I go up to him. I'm like, why are you trying to creep out two high school girls? Alice did not want me to confront him, but I was like, this guy's a creep. We should say something. Something. I'm like, what's your problem? He was like, I'm not trying to be creepy. I'm trying to help you. Thank God you guys got off the train because I'm a doctor and I could tell that that woman that the man had over his shoulders wasn't passed out or asleep. She was dead. 